Hello, in this video I'm going to do a test on the MTB motor driver board. This is the MTB motor driver and it looks very similar to the solenoid driver. In fact, the board is identical other than the name on it and the software that drives it. But the reason for wanting to make this sub uh, test is the solenoid driver uses a, a 70 amp transistor and the MTB motor drivers need hardly anything. So it's a waste of resource. I have these transistors here, which are, they've been lying around in my workshop for quite some time and they are 40 amp rated. So they're still way over the top, but uh, I'm going to use them up and well, make a test, see if it works. So come on this journey and um, let's see, uh, see how we, uh, we get on. First of all, as I'm just making a limited number, I'll apply some solder paste. Like so, of course, because I'm not, I haven't got the machine dialed in, the pick and place machine, um, it's probably gonna be, give me grief, but that's the way it goes, I suppose. Put a little bit of paste on there. <clears throat> and on we go. So that's enough now to put the main components on the board. Here it is again, now it's got paste applied. Can I focus it? Perhaps if I get my shirt out of the shop, shot. Yeah. So the solder paste is applied. So we'll stick it on the pick and place machine and uh, see what gives there. We're gonna put every component on the PCB except the transistor, which I will manually place afterwards. Great, so all the components are placed. We'll now uh, go over to the bench and we'll finish it off manually. Okay, we've got the board back uh, off the machine and it seems to have done a good job. So we'll just drop the buttons on and then we'll cut 12 transistors out. So we can take these transistors and drop them in.
I expect these to work but um, you can't be sure until you test them so we'll see what happens okay ready for the oven so the boards come out of the oven soldered and I now just have to manually um, insert the uh, connectors and the three pin headers so we'll do that and then we'll uh, proceed to testing Welcome to the most tedious work there is for this but I don't really know how to automate um, the insertion of pins power plug I did experiment with some um, snap lock type arrangement instead of um, screws for these terminals where you push the wire in and you know push a bare wire in and press down and so on but I actually found it to be quite difficult to work with um, they do what they say on the tin but they were so darn fiddly that I decided to stick with a screw terminal. I want a little piece of wire for the fuse that's not installed on this. Not installed because it's not, uh, it's not a high current device. So I'll just make that and stick it in there. As I film this, it's the run up for the Easter weekend. So I think the good weather came and went, but uh, I'll be glad for a break, assuming I end up not working, which is usually not the case. Just fold those wires over. Okay, they're all on. So put this on and see you on the flip side. So here's the NTB driver board. It's going to need a range jumper, isn't it? Oh, there's one. We'll give it some power and uh, see if it works. Well, it's flashed in all the right ways, so that's a good start. Just connect the network up to control it. Okay. That's where you can see it. I had something zip then. Uh, there's a default, uh, what was it on this? It was a default length. If we put a jumper on that. Is that it? Let's have a think, yes. Yes. So the default address is fine. That's one is working. Two. 
two is working. Three is working. Four is working. Five is working. And six. Six is working. Okay, well, that seems quite happy. Right, now I'm going to test it in a way that you shouldn't. I'm going to test it on AC as though it's a solenoid. So let's get an AC power supply. <clears throat> There's one I prepared earlier. This isn't for, uh, you know, I don't recommend that you do this, but I'm just pushing it to see if the circuitry holds up. So I'll get the AC transformer as recommended for solenoids. I'll just take the secondary wires off or out. And we'll hook them up and confirm if that works. Right, transformer on the floor, power cables. Okay, let's plug the transformer in. Okay, looking like we've got power. Can I get this in? Do you know what, let's screw it in. Then I don't have to hold it and I can uh, See if it works or not. I'm only really interested in one output here, not all six. I just want to see how the transistor holds up. Okay. Yeah. See, it's moving faster because it's got a higher voltage. I think these are 12 volts, so it's too much for this. No, 12 to 15. Ah, okay. So I'm within the voltage range, just. Seems to work quite well. Can you see that? There we go. Overall a success. So I'll go and make a, another batch of these now and um, get them into the, into the store. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you again at the next video.